Well, 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 hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Mazer's live streams. And as you can see by the title, we're going to do something a little different today. I'm going to do my best to... Oops. No, let's pause my voice. Good God. I want to do my best to talk to everybody while we do this. But I will kind of be like in two different places at once since we're doing this kind of guerrilla style. Really. But, you know, what can you do? All right, so check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I want to go live on my YouTube so I can actually see the chat room. There we go. So, uh, as you can tell by the title, this is the CDI Showcase. Yesterday, I uploaded a video where I showcased that I got the amazingly terrible uh, Zelda Wand of Gamelon. And before we start live streaming it, I wanted to show off uh, my collection of CDI. Unlike most people, I really enjoyed this CDI when it came out. And I had the original giant one, you know, the huge, huge box, right? But I did end up getting this little guy. Let me pull up my camera right here so I can make sure everything's in focus. There we go. Yes, I got this little guy right here. This is the Magnavox uh, Philips CDI. This is the ver second version here. CD audio and photo CDs. Ah, uh, yes. There you go. Disc, compact disc interact interactivity we got the uh, power button right here if you turn it around you got the dc input which is oddly like an ethernet port uh and you got the uh, what is this oh, another uh dc out this is dc in and then you have the rl you know the red white yellow and if you push it in right here it opens up and you can see how dusty it's been since I've kept it in storage. But it should still work. It's a pretty durable little system. Now, um, I got the CDI ages ago uh, for a Christmas present uh, by a, an uncle of mine. And he included a whole crap ton of games when he got it for me back in the, I don't know, mid-90s or something like that. And what we're going to do is showcase of uh, a bunch of those games that I grew up with. Let me pull some of them out right here. Such as amazing games like the... Oops. Sorry, I bumped the camera wire. But I should really not put my games on my headset wire either. There we go. Such amazing games as the uh, cartoon jukebox. This is cartoons that you can color and play with too. Including songs, games, coloring... Cartoon characters. A man who is glaring suspiciously at a monkey who has a hammer looking at a weasel with a hammer while the dinosaurs play on the floor, completely oblivious to the race war going on right there. Uh, right here, as you can see, it's just a jukebox for kids. You know, you get like, you could pick letters and you get, you know, find out things about the alphabet. You can color things, hear a bunch of funny stories. Yeah, it's very fun. This is actually one I played quite a bit, the paint school games. So this was like an old Mario paint type of deal, but nowhere near as creative. They basically give you a bunch of coloring, uh, coloring book type pictures, and then you could choose what kind of things you want to do to color them in. What was funny about this, though, is when you played this game, you always had to back out into the main menu right here to choose... Um, which brushes you had to do. So I always had to back, every, back out all the time. You know, to be honest, it was always better just to use the paintbrush and uh, the paint bucket and just fill everything in. That, that way you get really nice images like you do right here. Yay. Um, I don't know if this is... Yeah, I guess this is a game. This is the best neighborhood disc ever. Games, music, interactive fun by Richard Scarry, who, oddly enough, has what looks like an Iron Cross Fox flying through the air what the hell and if you can see right here it looks like they worship uh oh what is that goat's name i'm just gonna call him beelzebub i know that's not it but that's what i'm gonna call him uh, and there's the famous uh worm in the apple now this is real funny now i don't know if you noticed but these games came on discs that were in foam inserts look at that so they just filled this box full of foam and shove the disc in there instead of just releasing the game on a nice CD disc. I don't know. Yep, it's a lot of colorful, 
fun little stories. I think you could color things in and you visit busy town and all the rich and scary goodness that we all grew up with. And let's open up our other box. Oh, as I bump everything. This is why you don't do live streams on the floor. Okay, got a whole bunch of other good stuff right here. We got Defender of the Crown. Yes, this is a game that's in bad condition, apparently. That's... Oh, that's terrible. Um, Defender of the Crown is the age of chivalry, a time of maidens in distress and black-hearted villains. Uh, I don't... I don't think I've actually played this one. This is one of the ones I bought later on. Now, this one's different than the last ones for the fact that this came. Da, 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 da. These were what the cases originally looked like before they started using CD discs. Um, and then you just push this and open it up, and there you go. You get your little welcome to the world of CDI. You got a very nice disc art. And then I don't actually think they included instructions. Maybe they did. No, they just gave you a poster. Yeah, so no instruction manual, just a poster of a bunch of games. Isn't that fun? That's what every child wants, a poster. Not to learn how to play the game. There has to be an instruction manual in here somewhere. Maybe it's in here. Um, no, this is just flimsy. Yeah, this is a registration card, actually. Huh, go figure. Uh, we'll just put this one back in its case. I think this is like a real, like maybe a real-time strategy game or some kind of a uh, adventure game. Not a hundred percent sure. Hey, legend! I knew you would enjoy this, dude. I know. I need to register my games. <laughs> uh, we got another one of these nursery rhyme games. Um, this one is another coloring book. These were very popular. These little educational story time games. It stars Linda. Arnold, and you get like little stories of Mother Goose photos, and or stories, I'm sorry, stories of Mother Goose nursery rhymes, and you had to find hidden items. You got Pegasus Adventure, oh my god, what is this? Oh, it's an interactive storybook adventure, it's a visual novel about a Pegasus. The spellbinding story of Pegasus is delightedly told by Mira, uh, Mia Farrow, with enchanting music by Ernest Trost. Trost. Um, as Pegasus slays the monster Medusa, I thought that was, um, Ulysses who killed the Medusa. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not Pegasus. That's Perseus. As Perseus slays the Medusa, the, uh, Pegasus flies in the air and the adventure begins. So it's a, it's an inter interactive novel. And here's the uh, first version of Paint School 1. It's completely identical. There are no changes in this whatsoever. Isn't that wonderful? You just got to love stuff like this. Let's see here. We also have... Let's see here. Now, oh, that's a 3DO game. Ah, let's just grab a huge handful of this stuff. So we don't have to go back and forth. This is the... Worse for wear. Berenstein. Berenstain. I swear to God, this was a Steen one time in its life. It was a Steen... <laughs> uh, again, another interactive story. This one uh, full of mini games. You can learn how to brush your teeth, you know, because if your parents don't teach you, video games will. That's what every child wants. It provides positive reinforcement for completed tasks as your child can mark off each activity on their personalized achievement car chart. Wait, does this come up with an achievement chart? Oh, this one actually has an instruction manual. Let's take a look. Uh, rewards. Positive reinforcement is provided for completing tasks. Just as the bear cubs achieve their goals by fulfilling all the tasks on mama's list, your child can mark each completed activity on his or hers personalized achievement chart on the disc and earn a ticket to the Bear County Fair! Oh my God, that's a one. That is it. That is, it is two. Look, they don't even tell you how to play the game. It is two pages on telling you how to raise your child. This is a child. This is how to, this is a parent teaching game. Oh my God. And then look at this. The rest of it. It's, it's, a, it's a catalog number of CDI games. It's not an instruction manual. It's a catalog. Order now. Call CDI Express. 1-800-824-2567. That is hilarious. 
It's not even a freaking instruction manual. Oh my god. Look at all this wasteful foam they shove these things in. So this is basically a game that teaches par <laughs> What are you doing, Chewy? My cat sees the reflection of the CD case and now he's losing his mind. Uh, I can't get that in right now. All right, what else we got here? We got Clueless. I love this movie with Alicia Silverstone. Uh, yeah, the CD, the CD, wait, what? You gotta be kidding me. This, okay, so I have a bunch of these CDI movies that came with it when I bought the second version of the game, our system. I never actually watched any of these because these were like pre-DVDs. Um, so the quality is not that good. Free dopamine! <laughs> um, but look at this. This is clueless. This is a video CD. Disc one is like the first third of the movie. And then you have disc two for the last, what, six chapters. So they couldn't even fit the full movie. Oh, God, I bet you the quality of this is horrible. Two discs for an hour and a half long movie. Oh, that is funny. What else we got here? Uh, Lords of the Rising Sun, the epic interactive adventure game, including live actors. Oh my God, look at this. Can you see that? I don't know if it'll autofocus. Oh my sweet God, this looks terrible. In this epic samurai adventure in the 12th century Japan, vast armies of warriors, ninjas, swordsmen, and archers are at your interactive commands. In this game of strategy and skills, rebellion must be launched. Oh my God. So like, when I bought, oh, this one looks like it's a real instruction manual. Oh wow, it is, look at this. The goal of the game is to conquer Taria, become a shogun. You have the map, you choose your characters, you maneuver arm. Okay, so it's like an RTS. Reminds me of Kessen and all that stuff. Look at that, you got maps, you got symbols, and you got the catalog. Good God. Oh, geez, let's throw that away. And you go, there we go. Lords of the Rising Sun. What else we have here? I don't even know what games I own anymore. Crime Patrol, digital video and CD. Oh, God. It's another, oh God, it's one of those uh, full motion video games. Be the ultimate crime fighter in this multi-level live action thriller. Street fight gangs and armed robbers. As a rookie, undercover, you'll hit mobsters and drug dealers. This actually looks like a lot of fun. That's not even an instruction manual. That is a single picture. This guy doesn't even have a face. This is like something you get on a bootleg. Look at that artwork. Look at that beautiful artwork. The guy doesn't even have a god dang face. Oh my god. It's wonderful. Uh, chaos control. Fast and furious fights for Lady Liberty. That's wonderful. It is the year 2071. One space fighter has the courage and composure and razor sop reflexes to eliminate the savage Keshron extra. That's racist. Ace pilot Jessica Darkhill. He plays a woman. That's progressive. That's really cool. Actually, you look kind of look like a badass Samus Aaron. Look at that. She looks really gnarly. I like this. <laughs> You'd say it'll be like cutouts, but yeah, this one's pretty cool. What is this? It's um, it looks like it's a. Uh, all right, so it's animated. It's not live actors. It's all three D models. It looks like a first person shooter of some kind. Oh, this actually seems pretty cool. Ages six and up. Then we got what. Ah, Namco Arcade Classics. We don't have to go into detail here. We got Pac-Man, Galaga, uh, Galaxia. Oh, this one comes with an instruction manual too. Cool. A visit to Sesame Street. Letters. All this has is letters. Specifically, A, B, and C. And B, and A, and C. And D, and an upside-down V. 
This Sesame Street CDI program was produced by the Children's Television Workshop, a corporation with Philips Interactive Media of America. Huh. Ah, here we go. Oh, wait, this is not... I'm sorry, that's another video. That's a 3DO game. Okay, for all those who enjoy old school cartoons, and for my foreign brethren, uh, I believe these were big in Europe. This is Asterix Caesar's Challenge. Now, I actually am happy to say um, that I was a fan of Asterix. I actually have um, a DVD of this, or my parents actually recorded on VHS and then I bought a DVD of it. I, mean, I, I really like this cartoon. Um, unfortunately, the animation for the game is not as good, but uh, let's see. We are in the year 50 BC and the whole of Ghoul is occupied by Romans. All of it? No! A little village inhabited by the steadfast guys, gays, are still resisting the invader. So you probably play as Asterix and it looks like, unfortunately, it's not a great, it's not an action game like you'd think from this kind of cartoon. It looks like it's a puzzle game. Become Asterix, Obelix, Im Impedimenta, Pan Panacea, Just Four Kicks, or Cacophornix, and retrace the tracks of heroes created by uh, by people. I'm not even going to pronounce these names anymore. Good God, man. Hello, housewife. Yeah, CDI. Oh, no artwork on the game, but it looks like, yeah, it does have an instruction, actual instruction manual. Sweet. Uh, next is the Christmas County, Christmas Country. What is this? What the hell is this? Oh, that's a 3DO game. My 3DO games are mixed up in this, but that's another video. Uh, this is a, finally, a platform game for the CDI with lots of enemies. <laughs> Oh my god, did you hear that? Did you guys actually hear that? A finally, a platform game for CDI with lots of enemies. That, my friends, is the selling point for this game. It has enemies. Play and explore the exciting, long-lasting, fun-filled 16 levels of Christmas County. Wait, what the hell is this? This disc requires a CDI digital video cartridge. What the fudge is it? What the hell? There's two games in here. Wait a second. Was that what you said, Legend, that the game was missing? Holy crap, you're right. The guy I bought it from just... Oh, oh. That fool put in two games in one case. There we go. Well, that solved that mystery. Cool. What the, hell's, what the hell is a CDI digital video cartridge? I've never heard of such a thing. We'll research it a little later. Okay. Well, that was that pile. Let's get to the next pile. Um, we got some other games right here. Let's see. Ah! Including, oh, I think you guys will get a kick out of this one. Jesus, how many games do I have for this system? I should really catalog it. Get all, let's get another pile built up right here. There we go. I'm going to set all this stuff aside. I'm going to get another pile of, of games. All right, cool. Let's get this pile started. There it is. I knew I had a copy for the uh, CDI. Brain Dead 13 starring Fritz. This is another one of those animated cartoon games like Dragon's Lair and Space Quest. And I believe this was also done by Don Bluth Studios. Um, let's see. Lance Galahad has a problem. The good news is that you get infinite lives. The bad news is you'll probably need them. This incredibly animated frantic action game will ha make you die laughing. This is actually a very violent game. Last time I played it, I remember there's one part where he gets his eyes gouged out by uh, hooks and then split in half. Like, no blood or anything, but it's very, you know, 
Tom and Jerry-ish. But yeah, Brain Dead 13. This is actually a very good game. It's like Dragon's Lair, just, you know, very difficult. And you got to make sure you memorize the whole path. But then we have the miniature, I'm sorry, the wacky world of miniature golf with Eugene, with Eugene Levy. Wait a second, really? Jeez, I should really read my games more often. Eugene Levy is in. Is he the narrator? Um, produced, narrated by Eugene Levy. Oh my God. I can't believe this. Hey, Jess. I will play Brain Dead 13. I will. I, I, I actually like it. Yeah, Brain Dead 1 through 12 must have been really good. I did not know Eugene Levy did a Philips CDI game. Well, that's really cool. I love him. He's hilarious. Uh, you guys should watch that uh, show, Up Shits Creek. S-C-H-I-T-T-S. Uh, that's a funny movie, or TV series, and he's in it. I can't, I wonder if it's, it has to be the actual Eugene Levy. Uh, yeah, you must, you must. What the hell's Kether? This, so this whole like live stream is me saying, what the hell are these games? Because like I said, I didn't play most of them that I rebought. I mean, when I bought this off that guy. You are Melkor, Galactic Knight of Light. You have been chosen to save the Princess of Wisdom. Don't we already have a Princess of Wisdom in a very popular game that's... Uh, um, what's it called? Uh, Legend of Zelda! From the folk, folk forces of Korak, Master of Darkness, your perilous journey through the galaxy. It's one of those very awkward-looking 3D games. Featuring two hours of original music and space effect. First use of double-plane 3D action effects. Oh, my sweet God. The things they advertise on these games are unreal two hours of music and space effects i bet you it's actually 20 minutes of music and one hour 40 minutes of space effects oh this is hilarious this is just funny as hell kether Ketheter goes inside her pee hole um what the hell's this did we, oh my god did we really need this as a game Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the board game that is so much trouble to set up, we decided to make it go digital and put it in a strange case that's sideways. I give you Connect 4. Does this have an instruction manual in it? <laughs> How to claim free titles on the CDI. Okay, so tell me, how do I get free games? How to claim free games. Welcome to the exciting world of Philips CDI. Exciting, that's... You're advertising this for Connect 4. It's 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 the wrong... <laughs> oh my sweet God, the exciting world of Connect 4. Oh my God. When you collect our special vouchers, you can get even more hours of enjoyment because each voucher is worth six pounds. What the hell? Not dollars? This is pounds? Oh, here's the registration. I would like to register my Philips CDI for free offers. Oh, God. This is, when you have collected enough free titles, fill in the order form, indicating the title. Game, God, they were just giving games away. This... The Connect 4 has more pages in the instruction manual than the Berenstein Bear game. The Berenstein Bear game has less to tell you. It's Connect 4, people! It's one of the most basic games since get, guess who? I don't even know how to put this back together. I'm all frustrated now because they thought Connect 4 <laughs> deserved to be a digital game. Wait till you see the graphics. I looked at the back. Wait till you see, get in there. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Thank you. I need all my, oh my God, you stupid case. Uh, 
I don't, I don't think this, this thing was never, forget it. Look at this. Look at this. That is the bare minimum of graphics. This is terrible. Yeah, it's Connect 4, but the case doesn't work. I want to go against an expert computer player. I have to. Connect 4 is the ideal game for the entire family of two players. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, God. It's, it's a two-player game for the entire family. The games are quick and the rules are simple. Then why do you have a four-page instruction manual? Uh, you can select your colors in very drab um, pastels. Play with a computer or a friend. For one to two players. For the entire family. One to two players. For the entire family. You know, if you're a single child and they're divorced and you only have your mom or dad. Jesus. What's next? Inka, Inka, inka de doo I got another game for you. What the hell is this? It is, it's quiet now. The Inca Capac has foreseen it all. Although death is imminent, he is at peace. What the fudge? For he knows that the three great Inca powers, time, matter, and energy, isn't that just, you know, life, are safe, sent to space, sent into space out of the reach of the conquistadors? What? If you have the ability to send stuff into space, I don't think the Incas have to worry about conquistadors. What does this say under the sticker? So, chosen one, go forth, take your gallant ship, and soar through the heavens, and find the nine sacred jewels to combat and locate the power. Wait a second. Time out. Wait. Am I the conquistador? Is this a game where I have to take down the Inca Empire? What? Because Incas did not have ships like this. And it says I need to combat and locate the powers. No, you do not play as the conquistadors. No, you do not. Where is this? Oh my God. Are you serious? Oh, what, what? okay, hold on. Here's the story. Oh God, it looks like it has live actors in this too. What? Who am I? Who? This this is making me worried. Um, blah 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 blah. It was the Inca blah 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 earlier in fifteen twenty two? Blah 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. It simply says the space. His spirit awaits. All right. Earlier, the Inca Hanya Capac had a premonition about the before he died. Oh wait, I'm playing as the guy who sent them into space. Am I? No, I play as El Dorado. El Dorado, the chosen one, was a fear five, appeared five centuries later to undertake the great quest and become the new Inca. Oh, so I'm the good guy. Ew. Go, El Dorado. Jeez, you guys got to really make that clear. I thought I was the conquistadors. I'm actually a little disappointed that I'm not now. Could you imagine a game where you play as the single... Oh, my God. Where you play as the guys responsible for the extinction of several cultures. Surf City, 20 interactive games, including original recordings by the Beach Boys. Huh. Well, that's cute. You can paint a surfboard or build your own hot rod. Endless wave of animated fun, friends, and surprises. My friends are in here? <gasps> I wondered where they went. One time my friends told me that they'll meet me at the diner. They never showed up. Never heard back from them. Like, ever. I was just all alone. And Flo, the, you know, the waitress, was like, who are your friends? I'm like, I don't know. I thought they ditched me. But now I know they've been in this game this whole time. Yay! Moving on next is Pinball. It's Pinball on a red disc. Has nothing else to show for it. Next is Forrest Gump. The actual movie, Forrest Gump. 
<laughs> yes, housewife, it is flow. Oh, God. Okay, so Clueless, which was like an hour and a half, was two discs. This is a, look at how big this is. There is no way this looks like this. It is not going to look that clean, I bet you. I will be shocked if it looks this clean. So this is PG. Yeah, that's the usual DVD. Okay, how many discs do you guys think this is? Do you think this is eight discs or six discs? Or is it just four? Let's find out. We have, oh God, disc three. Oh, it's just three discs. Well, that's disappointing. Jesus. So a two-hour movie is three discs long. Oh, you know what? No, this is kind of cool. Um, wait, I'm kind of confused now. So disc one is Forrest Gump. Disc two is Forrest Gump. Disc three is through the eyes of Forrest Gump. What is this, behind the scenes? Huh. Kind of interesting. Huh. It's kind of cool. Next one is, oh God, I just looked at the back cover. Mutant Rampage. Ladies and gentlemen, if that's not a furry's dream, um, well, I'll show you something. This is Mutant Rampage. It looks like it's a brawler, but here's the best part. It has furry McBikini boobs. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, my God. Expect to be taunted and teased. Taunted and teased. I need to, I'm making sure that y'all could see this. Taunted and teased. And they show a half naked kitty cat girl whose nipples are hard in a bikini. I need to bring the light closer. So y'all, I need to stress this artwork. Look at that. Oh my God. Jesus. Oh my God, I got comments to read. When you go to comedy, to, from comedy to horror. Kitty, hi big boy. The year is 2068. The great centers of civilization has fallen into decay. Oh God. Has created a class of bionically augmented athletes and warriors. Nothing else, just athletes and warriors. Their sport is a no-holds-barred hand-to-hand combat spectacle set in the ravaged streets. It's a brawler. The odds makers are laughing, but they have never seen you, the one person whose speed, intelligence, and skill will determine if the humans can survive. Mutant Rampage. Digital video cartridge. Touchpad controller recommended. Face to... Oh, my. I need to find what this digital cartridge is. Where's the console? Where did I put the console? Here it is. I don't see anything for a digital cartridge. Do you guys? Maybe this one was built in. Yeah, there's no place for a digital con. Huh. What the hell is all this? What is this madness? Like, every time we go further, it is... The bloodiest, most disgusting, most... What the hell? Oh my god, Jess Fest, thank you! Dude, you have been supporting me so much lately. I saw the tips you gave me during our uh, mobile test. Dude, I love you. Thank you so much. Um, oh, my God. It's a brawler with nearly cat naked cat ladies. Yeah. This one is the most violent game I own. Jigsaw. Based on the cult classic saw. No, I'm kidding. It's just a bunch of jigsaw puzzles. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um... Then we got Crash. That's a 3DO game. God dang it, 3DO. Stop getting on my videos. Here we go. Voyeur. Oh, my God. What? Oh, God. What is this? Voyeur. Don't get caught. And it shows that you record people through their windows. 
Oh, boy, you know what? Hmm. Hmm. Reed Hawk has it all. Wealth, power, and adoration of millions, and secrets to protect. This weekend, he has gathered his family to discuss his running for presidency. Lust, revenge, and betrayal are on play in this adult political thriller. Do you watch or get involved? Will the videotape make you save the country or cost you your life? As the voyeur, it is up to you. Are you guys seeing this? Are, are you guys seeing this? I have to pause and actually look at my chat room because it's like, this, oh my God, what's that game I've just bought? Um, Oh, it's um, Balls, man. It, it was one of those FMV games up there with Night Trap. Double Switch. It's like Double Switch. But it's adult. Oh, God, I got to figure out what's in here. Next one. The Complete and Interactive Encyclopedia. For all your children nerdy needs. This entire 26 Compton's Encyclopedia comes to life on your television with high resolution visuals. No, it's not. No, it's not at all. No, nowhere near high resolution. That, my friends, is not high resolution. Like, holy crap, not at all. Actually, I want to bring my light closer over here so we could see this. All right, get my, there we go. Yeah, that is not high resolution. It contains 5,200 articles, 32,000 32, short articles, 130 picture uh, montages, mini documentaries. You know, this reminds me of uh, Encarta. Do you guys remember Encarta? I remember Encarta. Uh, that's a 3DO game. Then we have the, that's another game, The Dark Fables of Aesop. Timeless tales with timeless morals. Disc 1, disc 2. Narrated by Danny Glover. Okay, now I know that's, who the hell's Danny Glover? Aesop's Fables enters the 21st century with an exciting new format. CDI Interactive. Oh, God. Don't advertise that. Uh, the beautiful narration of Danny Glover and the jazz great music of Ron Carter. Does Aesop go with, you know, jazz, especially ones dark fables? Like, oh, they also have 36 sliding puzzles. Yay! Sliding puzzles! Oh God! They. This is this is the laziest. This is the same. It's eight. It's the same Aesop. Well, at least they have cons, you know consistency. This one has maze games, and you could be an ant or a grasshopper. Oh God! Oh, boy, what am I doing? Then we have. What is wrong with this man? What is wrong? You guys got Joker's Wild, based on the hit TV game show that I've never heard of. All right, you guys ready to see the worst tan in the history of everything? The worst tan. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a white man so badly tanned, he has surpassed orange. That guy is supposed to be white. Are you all seeing this? Look at that. That that's a color I didn't know a person could get through tanning. He is burnt. Like I'm trying to make sure the lighting shows the coloration better, but yeah. Yeah, that's a white guy. Oh my god, okay, what is, what is this? Joker's Wild. It's the game where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen and the Joker's Wild. It's a television game show. We gotta look this guy up. Join host Wink Martindale to spin the wheels. 
Oh, God. Somebody has to look up Wink Martindale to see if that's actually what he looked like. Maybe it's just a bad print. Let's just go with that. It's a bad print. All right. All right. Let's see here. We're coming near. We're coming towards uh, the end. But I would like to showcase. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, it is one of the prizes of my collection before I got Wand of Gamelon. It is none other is Hotel Mario. There it is, and all of its Mario cheesy goodness. The an original Mario Brothers game available only on CDI. Produced by Philip Fantasy Factory, try saying that, with full motion, full screen animation, original music, CD quality audio, and recommended with a touchpad controller, or so normal controller. Okay, so Wink Martindale's not that dark, the picture was off. Thank God, that's a bad photo. I was legit worried for a second. Um licensed by Nintendo and probably one of their biggest regrets ever. Ba -ba -ba -ba, Hotel Mario. Just gotta love it. All right, let's get the next pile ready. All right. All right, almost done, actually. It looks like we are. Gotta separate my 3DO games from the list. Oh, God dang. Now, this is not all my collection. As I'm going through all this, I realize some of my games are actually missing. They're probably still in another storage bin. But this gives you a good idea of where we're going with all this. Next one will be Caesar's World of Gambling. To start your kids off young, the interactive electronic casino. Yep. It is gambling of Caesar's Palace because every parent should buy their game buy a game for their children that teaches them how to gamble. And it plays 12 players at a time, meaning you have to pass the controller 12 times. Good bot. Oh, God. Is this three? What is this? Is this 3DO or CDI? That's a 3DO game. You go in the pile. Get over there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the three-breasted alien known in Total Recall. This is a two-movie disc, again, split almost entirely in half, based off the, I guess you could say, cult classic Total Recall, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. They had the three-breasted alien and the really nasty death scene at the end with the heads exploding or something. Palm Springs Open. Okay, so listen, out of all these games that I've been showing off, I only had a chance to play maybe three of them. This is one of those I've played. I actually played this quite a lot. I was I, I like golfing games. It's, it was live action. It looked really cool. And I absolutely sucked at it. Uh, like 100%. But it's based off the real Palm Springs Opens. And I think they even have real narrators uh, from those golfing tournaments uh, in this game. That was kind of cool. Oh, thank you, Kevin. I really appreciate the support. Uh, what's next on our list? Not you. Uh, Battleship. Dun, 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 dun. Now, you see, this This could be a game. This is not like Connect 4. Because <laughs> uh, Battleship can totally be turned into a digital game. Uh, it looks like you even have like little videos down here of the uh, cannons firing. Advanced features include on-screen help. That's not a feature. It's a tutorial. Three different firing methods. Two players or solo play against the computer. Vintage warship video footage. And high fidelity sound. Um, yeah, you know what? This could actually be a lot of fun digitally oh ladies and gentlemen it is time for you sing christmas favorites oh christmas tree oh christmas tree your favorite songs come to light to me simply watch and enjoy or roll the lyrics on the screen 
so that the family can sing along. Eliminate the vocals with a giant flamethrower that burns them to a burn crisp. A karaoke stuff. This is funny. Oh, so basically it's a Christmas karaoke. Christmas has never been so memorable with cheerful images of wonderful watercolored paintings. Traditional pen and ink drawings and whimsical woodcuts. Okay, so, um, oh, listen to this. The CD audio tracks on this can be played on most CD players. It includes Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Silver Bells, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, The Christmas Song, or Chestnuts. I don't know who Chest is, but everyone talks about his nuts. I bet you they're quite glorious. Sleigh Ride, Silent Night, Deck the Halls, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen, The First Noel, Jingle Bells, Hark the Herald Angel, and We Wish You a Merry Christmas. No Christmas rock. That's disappointing. I like that one. Okay, next is, oh my God, guys, we have another movie. It is the one, the only, Dan Aykroyd, Coneheads. Henge? Conehenge? Coneheads. I'm sorry. Coneheads. I actually finally saw this movie in its entirety uh, this year. Freaking fantastic film. It's probably another two discs. Um... Two discs. Oh, the time when DVDs were non-existent and everyone thought CDs were as good as we were going to get. <gasps> we found the sequel, ladies and gentlemen. A visit to Sesame Street, the numbers edition with 321 and 312. Yes! <laughs> Followed by another movie, Star Trek IV, The Undiscovered Country. Oh, God, I own a Star Trek movie? The Enterprise leads a battle for peace in the most spectacular Star Trek adventure ever. After years at war, the Federation and Klingon Empire prepared for a peace summit. Oh, God. Warp speed excitement that's quote-unquote impossible to resist. Co-starring Christopher Plummer. Is this the one with um, Christopher Lloyd as a... Uh, Klingon. It's not. No, it's just Plummer. That's George Sakai, Leonard Nimoy, rest his soul. Uh, this is... Oh. Oh, this is Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. But it's in the Crash and Burn disc. So now y'all can see what Crash and Burn actually looks like. It seems it's um, F-Zero meets Twisted Metal. 3D digitized video, 3D surround sound, mock speed, texture mapping graphics. Texture mapping is not a feature. Wait, is this a 3DO game? Oh, no, Crash and Burn's 3DO. I'm all kinds of confused. Uh, it looks like I have another copy of The Wacky World of Mini Golf with Eugene Levy. And the Twisted Game Show, starring a female football player, a man who is, oh dear God. What is he doing to that dog? Where's the light? Bring in the light! What is he doing to that dog? Let's see if I can hold it up right. Right here. It is a 3DO game, but he's doing something to the dog. Oh, Jesus. I have to do a cleanse. I have to cleanse myself after looking at all these. Okay, we're on the last group of games, everybody. The last group of games. Okay, we have The Posse from Polygram Video. A Mario Van Peebles film. Who the fudge is Mario Van Peebles? Starring Stephen Baldwin. Is that a long-lost Baldwin brother? Is there a black Baldwin brother? Is that him? 
If you love the action of classic westerns from Good, Bad, and Ugly to The Unforgiven, get ready to join Mario Van Peebles' posses. Hailed by critics and audiences as stunning, thrilling, and killer entertainment. The time is 1892, and Jesse Lee, Van Peebles, is a sharpshooter who has fought in the front lines of the Spanish-American War only to be betrayed. Stephen Baldwin plays Little J. Huh. Adult AM. Oh, it's rated R. Rated R. There it is. And you know what? You cannot have a video game console without having Tetris. You know, what can I say about this? It's Tetris. That was got, purchased, it looks like, by Block, Blockbuster Studios. Blockbuster Studios. Blockbuster Video. Next is Prelude, Precursors of the 20th Century Music and Art. It's uh, basically, this program is designed for an international audience. It can be played on either CDI or CD audio player. Uh, Impressionist, the art movie, basically it's like, um, I don't know, it's like an interactive museum, apparently. It discusses George Seurat's pointillism and Paul Signac. It talks about Van Gogh and Paul Guygoon and uh, Emilian Bernard. That's yeah, pretty cool looking. It's kind of neat. And then we have, it looks like this is like kind of a quasi-sequel to the last one, the International Tennis Opening, which re just reminds me of that golf game I just showed off. Uh, welcome to the highest levels of competitive tennis. You are Victor Player. Oh, my God. Is Victor Player a real person? Can someone find that out for me? Legend, is Victor Player a real person? Because I don't want to say, oh, so creative. You're the player, and you're playing Victor Player. Only for him to be a real tennis player, and I don't even know that. Uh, it's tennis. All right, well, while we are here on the floor, I guess we could also show off the last bit of the 3DO, which, not 3DO, I'm sorry, the CDI that I have with me. And first of all, is one of the greatest controllers in the history of controllers, ladies and gentlemen, the Philips CDI Roller Controller. Yeah. Oh, it's not in frame. Let's pull this in frame here. Pull all your movies and games and non-games. Yeah. There you go. That's a controller. Um, I don't even know what this yellow part is. Is this a button up here? This is not even a button. This is not a... This big yellow thing is not even a button. Button one, button two. Can you imagine playing an action game? Run, 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 jump! Run, 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 jump! Go back! No, go forward! Duck! Jump! Oh my god! Oh god. We also have the um, Phillips brand gun with a crappy trigger. Um, so Victor Player is not a real person. <laughs> Beat Dark Souls with that controller. Good God. So this is a controller. Um, you know, every console back then had a gun. My cat's interested in the gun. You have start button and all that jazz for the menus and pew, pew, pew. I don't think I own one game that's gun compatible, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. Oh, I just squashed my Forrest Gump. Did I not put Forrest Gump on? Chewy. Go on. Scoot over there. Just sit up there, buddy. And finally, I have, um, that's a Game Boy. Oh, dear God. Did I just find more games? Oh, God, I did. I did. I found more games. It's a never-ending, it's a never-ending world of games. Uh, in this mess of cables I have here, this is, um, this is what the controller looks like, the actual controller. There's also a uh, infrared one with a joystick. It's very finicky. This controller is much better, I think. All right, let's get rid of this mass of wires and show off what I thought was already done. 
Of course my cat likes the gun. All right. So, we found more games. It never ends. Demo's Quest. They're Demo. With drugs. Being chased by poo. Demo's sweet tooth has led him into a fantasy world filled with sugary delights. He's in a diabetic coma! He is in a diabetic coma. That's exactly what this is. Oh my God. Navigate this hip little candy collector through 31, I'm sorry, 51 remarkable mazes, each more. So this is like uh, Chip's Challenge. Uh, you have to, yeah, trains, birds, and chomping monsters. This is exactly like Chip's Challenge. Huh. Next is Whack-A-Bubble. Whack-A-Bubble, bubble whacking, whack your bubbles today. Um, it's basically breakout with bubbles. Whack-A-Bubble, the action puzzle game for one or two players, featuring more than 100 levels of gameplay of what the freaking hell is this? Hold on. I don't know if I can get you guys to read this. Pleasure. Pleaser. Pleasure. What is that word? Why is the E upside down? Oh, God. Okay. Of gaming plus 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 and brain teasing fun, uh, beat the clock or your fellow player by skill, quick thinking, and a couple of secret special moves. Uh, whack a bubble, and it's all the rest is on different languages. Huh. That kind of made me sad. I don't know even why. Scotland Yard Inter Interactive. Because, oh my God, it's like Carmen San Diego. Mr. X, London's most wanted baddie, is still on the loose. I didn't know he was on the loose to begin with. <coughs> I'm choking because of these games. I'm literally choking right now. Okay. Scotland Yard is a fascinating CDI version of a classic board game. There's a, there's a board game called... Oh, you must zero in on Mr. X. I don't want to do that. Last time I fought Mr. X, he crushed my head in at the Raccoon PD. All right, so this is like a board game mixed with Carmen Sandiego, apparently. Oh, dear God. Mad Dog 2. The Lost Gold. Digital video on CDI. Oh my sweet Jesus God in heaven. Oh, this, now this actually makes me sad. Can you guys see that? Look at those scratches. Oh my God. It's probably, oh no. You know what? This poor thing has been rubbing around the broken inside of this. For God knows how long. Oh, this poor game. Look at those scratches. Oh, my God. I might have to get a new CD case for that one. Step back into the Old West with this action pack adventure that pits you against the meanest Desperados to ever ride the range. Mad Dog is back. I didn't know this game warranted a sequel. Well, we're going to put this aside. I want to bring this to my store and see if I can get it polished. That poor game. Uh, next is the game Clue. The mysteries continue. Um, yeah, as you can see here, uh, that's Christopher Lloyd, that's Tim Curry, that's the woman from Murder, She Wrote. No, wait, that's none of them. Oh. Hmm. All right, Mrs. Peacock in the library with the wretch. Uh, Clue is one of the world's most popular detective games. Mr. Bo Once again, Mr. Body was murdered. Get, does nobody proofread this? Like, for real. Once again, Mr. Body has been murdered. You can't once again, it's either he's murdered or he's not. 
Oh, dear God. Finally, after all this time, we come to the end of the, uh, the, the video. Ladies and gentlemen, Mystic Midway's Phantom Express. Let's take it out of the case so you guys can enjoy this horrifying image of a crazed man devouring people on a uh, roller coaster. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, God. My poor boy. Uh, all right, Mystic Midway. This is actually a sequel to the first one, which was a shooting gallery game where you move a little gun and shoot skulls and stuff. You have to beat a score to pass through every level. Um, here he's back, Dr. Diarth. That wild and crazy carnival barker from Mystic Midway's Rest in Pieces, that's the other one, returns to host the next attraction in his demented amusement park, a ro a Rock'em Sock'em roller coaster. Work your way through seven stages of life from infant to old age to beat this 3D thriller ride and get from the park alive. You may have to contend with bonus rounds where all your nightmares come true. Uh, yep. That's a thing. Jesus. I really should have looked at these before I bought them. Because I would have made this video ages ago. The descriptions alone are worth the entertainment. Oh, boy. All right. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that is my CDI collection. Oh, boy. What? what? There are some games missing. Um, a lot of them in the classic plastic cases. Um, I'm pretty sure they're actually in my storage bin with my Super Nintendo games. Because all these got mixed up while I moved. But, um, yeah, th those ones are my favorites. You have Laser... Oh, that's my cat. You have Laser Lords, Zombie Dinosaurs, Mystic Midway, Escape from Cyber City, just to name a few of them. Um, yeah, but what we're going to do is I'm going to go experiment with my CDI. See if I can get hooked up to my TV. If I can, well, we're just going to have a lot of fun now, aren't we? All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today again. Um, I know I, usually, I don't usually stream twice in a row. And I was going to make this an, an actual video, but I feel like the interaction with people and seeing people's reactions live while we we're looking at these crazed games was uh, so worth it. So, everybody, thank you for joining me. Um, Jess, um, Oh, I just noticed there's someone else on Plex. Who are you? Nice Mug and Housewife over on Plex. Thank you so much. And Legend over on YouTube. And uh, I saw we saw I saw another person, actually, who popped up. Who was that? It's a screen name. Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. What we're going to do now is try to get this uh, old system up and running. All right. Until then, I'll see you all next time. And thank you for this joining me on this special stream. Bye.